And this is a CDL, and it's uh, I suppose other companies make them also. Anyway, this is a 316, 316 to a 516th T. And we've got an 8 millimeter valve that we put on a, a piece of um, drop line here, and that's going to go onto here. And then our idea is to install this up in the in the line. That way, when you want to check our We want to check our vacuum, we'll just attach the gauge onto it, open the valve, and we'll get a reading. I used to have the valves permanently on here, um, but it turns out they fill up with sap somehow and they get destroyed. So, we'll connect that in. We're going to take our drop line tool. This is actually a 5-16th. I've got a couple of, of uh, tie straps in there that, that make it a little smaller for the 316. So we're going to cut that. Now we can feel the, the vacuum on it. We're going to lose vacuum, of course. Need to expand those, that 316, otherwise you have a devil of a time sometimes getting your T's in. Let me see if I can use one side of this thing up against my belly and we'll see if we can get in there. Um, that works out. You've got to be careful on these things if they start going at an angle. It will not work out well. I think that's going good now. Okay. So that's installed. We got about 150 feet, I'm guessing, at least 100, 150 feet of elevation. On this line, it probably runs 700 feet down to our uh, to our collection tank. So probably come back here in a <clears throat> come back here in a day and be able to set our uh, vacuum gauge on that. I can. Put on right now just to see what we've got, but I don't think we'll we'll have as much as we'd like to see. We we're surprised here a few minutes ago. We put that on one that we uh, T that we installed last week, and it went way up to 20, 20, 20 about like 27. Let's see what this does. Yeah, it's reading about six, six, seven right now. We'll go back to the other one, and I mean, it'll, it'll come back. <clears throat> this is not a Super sap day, or two thirds of the way, at least maybe three quarters of the way through our season. Slight freeze last night, but the trees on these 316 lines seem to be doing real well. We'll close that valve and take our vacuum gauge off. And that's where we'll leave it. Well, so here's our vacuum gauge, and we're going to attach this onto the, onto the top of the valve here. The idea is that our vacuum gauges won't get destroyed by the freezing and stuff. And we can open up our gauge and or our valve and see if, if we got any vacuum at the top of this. Oh, check that out. 25, 26, 27. That'll explain why these trees are running. Those tanks down there are... That tank down there has been running over every time I go to it. Excellent. Close the valve. Remove that. We enter a little bit of air in the system that way, but it's it's minimal. And we used to keep these gauges hooked onto the onto the lines, but somehow they always end up filling up with sap or something, and they get destroyed. So we're kind of thinking this might be a better deal.